here. Yeah, probably. Hey guys, how are you? It's Robin John Rosenhaus from RobinJRosenhaus.com and I'm here with a little bit of a public service announcement for you guys for the weekend and for the next six months. So if you have been paying any attention to the astrology lately, you have been hearing them talk about the astrological forecast for this upcoming weekend, specifically June 9th and 10th. And so I do want to give you my take on that and talk to you a little about, bit about what's going to be going on for the second half of this year. I mean, we're in June already. This is the end of a decade. And if, if you remember back in 1999 to 2000, when we were making that changeover, it was that whole crazy Y2K stuff. And people thought the world was going to end. It didn't. We're still here. But there are challenges that seem to come with the switch over from one decade to the next. So I want to get into that with you guys a little bit. And I don't know, the way I feel, the way I see things is being forewarned is being forearmed. You don't go into um, time periods of challenge thinking there's something wrong with you. Instead, it's like, Oh, right. This is what's going on with the planets. This is what's going on with mass consciousness. And I'm just tapped into it. Let me use my tools and deal with it instead of going into, I have been doing this work forever. I don't understand why this garbage is coming up again. I just don't get it. All right. So real quick, let's talk about this weekend. Um, one of the astrologers that I follow is actually calling it the ninth and the tenth a spiritual tornado and you know i don't know about you i've been doing this work for a hell of a long time and when i hear a trusted trusted astrologer say spiritual tornado my heart goes in my throat so rather than letting that disempower me i did some research and i checked with you know my own peeps up there and out there and over here and all over the place and I got their take on it. So here's the dealio. This coming weekend, and let me back up for a second and just say, I would bet that the majority of you are already experiencing this because I have to tell you, my clients have been reaching out to me like crazy. They're usually, I'm gonna say self-sufficient. They have tools, they deal with stuff. Instead, the past week, past two weeks, it's been like, Robin, what's going on with the energy? What's going on with the energy? What's going on with the energy? So, back to what I was saying. So June 9th and 10th, specifically, the whole, you can look up the astrology, where the planets are, who's doing what, what's going on. But the bottom line is, all the stuff that we, have cleared through all the years that we have all been working on our personal development, on creating our lives, on creating our businesses, um, all the beliefs that we've cleared, everything that we've removed the charge from and gotten to neutral, it's going to be slamming you in the face. You're going to be looking at stuff and going, I haven't had to dealt with this garbage in years, in years. So what I want to say to you is, number one, just expect it. Expect it to some degree, because I personally don't feel like everybody is going to get slammed with it as hard as what's being said. But there will be some of you who are. So just expect it, all right? Don't fear it, just expect it. And why I say don't fear it is all of this garbage that comes up, you are not the same person you were when this showed up the first time and the second time 
and the tenth time. You have done so much work. You understand that there's nothing inherently wrong with you. You already know that so much of how you react to life is be due to how you were taught to react to life. And you have learned new ways of handling and dealing with this garbage. Okay? So when it shows up, just do the best you can to be like, oh, right. I remember you. Yes, I did clear you. And you know what? I know how to handle you now. That's all. It doesn't have to run your life. I had my own thing happen this week. And, you know, my first thing was, what the, f you know? But in a half an hour, it was handled. It was over. It was done. Whereas previously, it would have been going on for weeks. And I know that the same is true for you. When you remember that this stuff is showing up, not because there's something wrong with you, but it's showing up so that you have the opportunity to remember where you were as compared to where you are, and you have the opportunity to remember everything that you did in between to get from here to here and you will now remember all the tools you have in your tool belt that make it so you can deal with this so that it's nothing more than a piece of dust on your shoulder that's it you do not have to buy into the mass consciousness of fear that some of these astrologers are going out there and promoting. Okay? That's the one thing. Now, let's just talk really quick about what's going on from June through the end of December as we get ready to enter an exciting brand new decade. Okay? You're gonna have <laughs> the short story is it's gonna be more of the same. All right? And how you relate to it is what's going to determine your experience of it. So if you look at this as, okay, fine. So, ah, uh, like <laughs> something I'm getting a little anxious because what's running through my head right now is how many people keep saying oh the coming year is going to be beautiful the coming year is going to be about abundance and it's going to be about this lovely thing and it's going to be about that lovely thing and oh look here's more puppy dogs and ice cream cones and rainbows and you can have them all and the puppy dogs are not going to you know chew on your shoes the ice cream you're, is not going to make you gain weight and the rainbows aren't going to be a result of an awful thunderstorm Let's be real. That world where everything is always ah, doesn't exist. And that's an awful thing I know for somebody in the spiritual community, new age community, metaphysical community, all the self-help and all of that kind of stuff to say. All right? I'm sorry. We are here boots on the ground, on the planet Earth, living in duality, in these human bodies. Yes, we have these beautiful souls that are absolute perfection. And yes, that is who we are at the core. And that's where we go that helps us to deal with the shit when our dog dies, when our father dies, when our husband or our wife leaves us, when we lose our job, when, you know, I don't even want to add more to that. You get it. But we are here in this human form dealing with all of that. And there's always going to be that, okay? Can we just get this through our, through our heads? Can we just accept this? When you accept 
that life is always going to happen. It doesn't matter what's going on astrologically, what the other, what people say about the coming years mean. Yes, there are opportunities. It's this coming six months is offering us many, 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 many opportunities for growth. Many of these opportunities will not be comfortable and that's okay. It's okay because you can do this. You can get through this. You will remember, like I've said 26 times already, that you have tools to get through this stuff. You have the mental tools, you have the emotional tools, you have the psychological tools, you have the spiritual tools, you have the physical tools. When the Schumann resonance starts going up, which I believe it's going to continue to increase, and you start feeling anxious, before, before you reach for the clonopin or the Valium or the alcohol, and I'm not saying to not use those. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the alcohol, but you know, I'm not saying don't use that stuff. But before you go there, and before you start thinking that there's something wrong with you, and before you start believing that the world is going to end, connect with the divine in whatever way works for you. Take a few deep breaths. Connect with your body. Do the thymus thump. Man, that gets you right back in your body and gets you present. Do all of that first. Take a walk. Pet your dog. Play with your cat. Hug a tree. Take your shoes off. Get in the grass. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Do all that first. so that you can remember that yes, you can handle this. Yes, you're feeling anxious. And no, you're not gonna die. At least right, not, not right this minute, right? We're all gonna eventually. <laughs> another fact, it's just another fact of life, right? That's all. And it's okay. Because again, you have the tools, you're prepared because this growth that's available to you is offering you more freedom. It's offering you more freedom in your heart. It's offering you more freedom in your soul. It's offering you more freedom in your state of mind. It's offering you the ability to improve the quality of your life. Whatever that looks like for you, is it a, you know, whether it's money, a new house, a new car, a partner, a deeper connection with the divine, more inner peace, more physical health, whatever it is for you. And don't judge what it is for you. Because also, this next six months is providing you with the opportunity to increase your level of personal sovereignty. It's offering you the opportunity to reframe your reality so that you're not sitting here trying to heal all the time. Instead, you have the opportunity to look at this and say, I am going to refill. I am going to revitalize. I'm going to rebuild. I am going to reclaim all the years that were stolen from me during those times when I didn't have the strength, when I didn't have the knowledge, when I didn't have the wisdom, when I didn't know I had a choice to choose something different. Now you do, now you can. And when you look at this next six months, beginning with this weekend, from that perspective, it doesn't change what's going on 
in the environment. It doesn't change what's going on in the outside world. It changes you on the inside and it changes your response to what's going on. And that, my beautiful friends, is what really creates the most wonderful experience of being a human being living on this planet in this day and age despite everything else that's going on so now that you know what's coming there's a no fuss no must way to get support for all of this and it's called resurrect your juju it's a weekly service and i use it for me and my family it's the clearings that i use for me and my family it energetically clears you if you join us and your family and your home and your land and if you own a business your business as well of the chaos like we've been talking about today so that you can proceed with life as planned there's no group for you to join. There's no meetings. You're already busy enough. This is literally the best set it and forget it service out there. And many, many, many energy workers charge thousands to do this. But I don't want any barriers for entry that's for something that's this important. Okay? I want you to have access to this energy from somebody who's been doing and studying energy work for over 10 years. So the link is in the description. And if you get in today, I will do a special clearing for you so that you're reset and ready for when I do the next clearing next week. Once a week, this clearing happens. And I will say to you that everybody who is a part of Resurrect Your Juju has seen a huge, huge change in their life and in their life experience. So that's it, everybody. I hope this helped you for the next, you know, for this weekend into the next six months. And I wish you peace in your heart and in your mind and the life experience that you truly, truly, truly desire. This is Robin Jana Rosenhouse from RobinJRosenhouse.com. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.